Ivan Cooking Adventures, and we actually um, we are a channel that we actually cook a lot of things, and we always trying to find the best um, recipes for you guys, and actually missing a lot of different flavors there, so we'll be able to develop a nice uh, dishes for you and a nice recipes. So in this case today, we actually gonna do some uh, picanha. We are gonna smoke this picanha on the grill. And we're gonna season this picanha with a few um, ingredients that is gonna make this picanha stand out on any barbecue. We're going to season the picanha. We actually, a little bit of salt, sea salt, Italian mixture of seasoning here. We also has a little bit of, of um, um, heat in there too, some oregano, some Thai, some um, some uh, uh, rosemary, dry, dry rosemary, and um, a little bit of um, uh, thyme as well. We're also gonna add a little bit of powders, of uh, the seasoned powder here, which is um, a little bit of um, 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 onion powder, uh, garlic powder, some small paprika, some chili powder, and a little bit of black pepper in there. We're also gonna throw a little bit of uh, sweet by adding a little bit of um, uh, maybe agave nectar, or in some cases, um, you could actually add a little bit of brown sugar to actually caramelize the sugar and makes the picanha and the fat a little bit more brown that is gonna stand out for that nice flavor and that nice colors that you are looking for. To start preparing the picanha, just try to um, trim a little bit of the fat not much because you wanted to keep a little bit of a little bit of the fat there so so you could have the nice um, um fat so it could tenderize the meat while it's cooking but having too much then it's just gonna be so greasy so just trim the excess of the fat from the top a little bit that you don't need there you go so now, just add a little bit of olive oil on top, just a little bit. It's just for the seasoning to stick to the meat. There you go. Now, before you continue, wash your hands. Because now you're gonna season the meat that you don't want cross-contamination by um, when you're using the seasoning. So sprinkle salt on top, both sides, also on top of the fat there. So these um, fat will start, the salt will start melting a little bit of that fat on top. So now, a little bit of the Italian seasoning. Sometimes they actually sell these already pre-mixed. In this case, I actually mix them myself with a lot of my dry spices. So now, we're just gonna mix the dry seasoning, the powder one, and we're just gonna put it on top too. Mmm, that makes you smell delicious. Wow, and it's not even cooked yet. So now, get a little bit of that nice brown sugar and put it also on top. There, both sides, there. Now it is time for you to rub all that seasoning to the meat, push it down so it could be inside. So it could season also the inside, rub it all around, make sure everything's covered. There. Then now that you have it like that, just get alum aluminum foil, maybe some uh, cellophane paper and cover this up. Cover it up 
and put it in the fridge for at least 45 minutes before you cook it. Now look at this baby right here. After 45 minutes, you can see that everything has um, going in through the meat. Look at that, it even has changed color. Look at all the flavor there and all the fat. It's all nice. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a mixture of a little bit of um, olive oil, right? Since we are doing this like um, kind of like Italian style, so we're gonna we're gonna use some um, um, balsamic vinegar and a little bit of water. We're gonna do a mixture there with three. So what we're gonna do with with this is um, as we cook in the meat, the meats tend to dry it up um, in the fire. So we're gonna be spraying the meat with this liquid all along the way until it finished cooking. So, let's go into the grill. These bad boy outside, they already have it ready. They already have it like a volcano there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the grill on, we're gonna put the grill on top and we're gonna put a face, the, the fat down so we can start melting that fat first. There. Nice temperature to start. It's very nice temperature. Then when we cover the grill, we're gonna try to keep that temperature for at least two to three hours at 225, from 225 to 250 mostly to smoke that nice piece of picanha. Now that you see that you got too much fire there, that means that that fat is actually a little bit burned already. So we're just gonna put it on the other side. There. That burns fat doesn't mean anything. So now we're searing the meat side. We, we already sear the fat side. So now we're just gonna sear the meat side. So we can lock all the juices inside. Then we're gonna transfer the meat to the side and we're gonna cover the grill. We're gonna just try to have the temperature lower down to maybe to 225 to 250. Like I said to you, that's the um, uh, nice temperature to smoke anything you want, chicken, fish, whatever, brisket, anything. Now we're just gonna see if it's sear on the other side, which it is, which is coming to sear, you see the March already of the grill there. I'm just gonna flip it again. I'm gonna see it a little bit more. So now you see how sear it is on the back and on top. So what you're just gonna do, we're just gonna move this to the side which don't have any direct heat. Just gonna sprinkle a little bit with the water that to keep it moist right and then we're gonna cover the grill now so we could lower that temperature a little bit more so now that this is been 20 minutes in the process you can see how nice is that you can see all the juices already see coming out so what we're gonna do now is course we're gonna keep adding a little bit of the water make sure with the olive oil and the balsamic vinegar there so we could keep it moist and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this uh, wood chips I buy like this because it's very easy to handle this way and also these are actually for uh, actual smokers I'm using it here uh, for my purpose here um, you can um, um, use um, any flavor you want like hickory or any other type. In this case, I'm using uh, whiskey oaks, which is gonna give it a nice uh, wooden flavor there. So what you do is uh, soak it in a little bit of water, just like this, just like that. Once they have a little bit of water there, now you can put it in the middle of the grill, there, just like that. Three different spots. 
little bit of the water. Then close the grill. And then in about five minutes, it's just gonna fill the grill inside of that nice smoke and it's gonna start smoking that meat slowly there. And when it's done, you will see that it's gonna be so juicy and so wonderful that you will be amazed of how uh, you can grill something so easy and so flavorful. So let's see how this has been going now, how it looks, you see? Yeah, very nice. Look at that bark there that he has. Very nice. Look at that fat there. Let's turn it over. Look at the nice color on the other side. Oh, so smoke. So now what we're gonna do is to prevent from the meat to keep drying up because it's been here for, for already uh, an hour and a half or two. So we're gonna actually put it in an aluminum foil and we're gonna wrap it there aluminum foil so we prevent the meat of getting direct heat now it's gonna be cooking in its own flavor in its own juices now it's gonna drop a little bit more juice there but it's gonna be cooking there in their own juices and it doesn't gonna have direct heat from the charcoal so we also want to lower a little bit of the charcoal fire by adding a little bit of water there. So we could low that fire, low that heat, low that temperature a little bit, that temperature a little bit more. And then we can leave it there for another hour or so. And then we can maybe leave it resting for another 10 minutes before serving it or cutting it. It's already dark. It's a nice summer night in Florida. So um, we actually started preparing this like around 4.30 in the afternoon, smoking this in charcoal, with charcoal and a little bit of wood chips. And then we covered this earlier with a little bit of wrapping paper. You can see now cooking and their own juices. Now this is totally ready. We're gonna take it out of the grill. I don't want those juices to come out because that goodness there. That is gonna make this um, brisket stands out. All of that juices there, oof, crazy. Now as you will see, how this is done a nice bark of fat. The fat actually um, melted there in the meat and actually tenderized the meat inside. So we're just gonna let it rest for at least a couple of minutes, five to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna cut it. So let's go inside, it's a little bit hot here in Florida, but we still have time and energy to barbecue. Now that we have let this rest, for at least 10 minutes, we're just gonna start cutting a little bit of this nice beef. We're just gonna cut a little bit of this side here so you can see how nice it is. Just look at that. Whoa. Mm, so delicious. Woo! It's to die for. It works. It is worth the time for you to have in the grill there, smoking this nice piece of meat because the um, final product is delicious. Get a little bit of this gravy on top, spread it there. Also, I have a nice chimichurri sauce that I made earlier. Spread it on top, just like that. Ooh. And there you have it. A nice 
smoked picanha from the grill with a little bit of okra and rice with corn with a little bit of uh, uh, vegetables there in it. So this is gonna be our dinner for tonight. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you have, you guys take the time and devotion to cook a nice meal for your family. This was Ivan Cooking Adventures, the channel that we actually cook a lot of nice meals for you guys. I'm Chef Ivan, like always, you can find all of my videos there and watch it. And if you like it, just uh, give a thumbs up to all of my videos and subscribe to my channel and keep enjoying all of these nice recipes.